This video does come with a warning today, so please watch the video until the end to see what the warning is. On behalf of Carlton and myself, I would like to thank every single one of you for subscribing. We have just hit 7,500 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. It just feels like just a couple of months or so ago that we hit 7,000 subscribers. Remember, if we hit 10,000 subscribers, we are holding a 10,000 subscriber party here in Torrevieja. So that is, that's even more reason for you to subscribe to the channel. And we will give all the details. We've already give you the details in the previous videos. But as it gets closer, we will confirm that actual location in Torrevieja where we'll be having the 10,000 subscriber party. Thank you also to everyone that has made a donation or bought us a coffee. We are going to be putting that money to good use and we are investing quite a lot of money, over 300 euros on a mic system for doing these videos. So we usually leave the link for the buy me a coffee in the description of the video or sometimes it is the first comment also. So if you would like to make a donation, feel free to do that. Uh, it would be absolutely fantastic. It does take a lot of time and to be fair, we don't make money off this channel. so. Um, it's, it's good just to get that little bit to help us out on our way to grow the channel and that's what we aim to do. So now let's head down the beach and see what the beach is like today in Torrevieja and that big warning that I gave you at the start of the video. I have to say, it is absolutely roasting today. It's probably around about 33 degrees now. It's 31 degrees earlier when I was out for a walk. There are some new visitors to Torrevieja. So if you are going to the beach, beware. I'm only kidding. Um, no, the beaches are generally fine. The, uh, the other end has been spotted quite a few creatures that don't usually frequent these parts. And those are jellyfish, as you can see. I'll show you the jellyfish now. As you can see, the beaches are quite busy today. But I walk along the back so that I don't get anybody in the video that really doesn't need to be in or want to be in and uh, make sure that I don't get any X-rated people in the video and if I do accidentally get someone X-rated in the video I apologise in advance so yeah, Torrebeca is really heating up the weather is absolutely roasting it's, uh, it's not as hot as it was last year but it is still hot enough and it's sometimes too hot to get the camera out because uh, the camera lasts about 5 minutes in this heat it's even the phones but if you are going to the other end of the harbour area and, and you're going to go in the water, I would just beware because there are these creatures in the water. But other than that, Torvieca is doing absolutely fantastic just now, as you would expect at this time of year. As you can see, all the beach bars are all filling up nicely, just getting a nice little bit of shade. That's what you want at this time of year. Because, let's face it, nobody wants to sit out in that heat at that, that time of day. It's actually bad enough trying to do this walk and this video. Um, there will probably not be as many videos during the day because it is just too hot to walk around and do videos. There are a few. There is going to be an update one on Sunday. I'm going to show you exactly what's going on at the building site. Um, because it's really strange the works that's going on. And then I'm going to give you an update on some of the new bars that are opening. There is also a brand new burger bar opening and it looks really interesting and the, the design of this burger bar is absolutely quite amazing so I'm um, really looking forward to that, really looking forward to trying that and uh, it's next to a bar that you, we used to frequent quite a lot um, but not so much now. <sighs> it is warm I'm at the shallower part of the beach and then um, Nice and quiet along this bit today. But everyone is away getting their food. It is almost siesta time. That's one thing that has always completely, I find strange in this day and age, is siesta. So for the next part of the video, I'm going to walk up just off the beach, just to get out of the sun. And try and get some shade. That's a little bit better bit of shade away from the madness that's down the front. So tell me in the comments if you're coming to Torrevieja when you're coming and what's your favourite bar? We got a lot of people saying that they wouldn't 
the try new restaurants that we go to, uh, which is fantastic. And please always mention that you do and um, see us on video because we get a good reception when we go back into the bar and people say, or into the restaurant, say, yeah, thanks for the video. Means the world to us when we get that feedback. Yeah, down this end and you want to go to a real good <laughs> restaurant, tapas bars, Bar Hernandez uh, Restaurante. That is absolutely fabulous for tapas and it does a great menu del dia also over the roads. You come up to the bar, it does have a big outside terrace and it's absolutely huge inside also. We'll check out the menu del dia. You go around the front and then there's the entrance into the bar. And as you can see in there, it's absolutely fabulous. So that's a really good bar in there also. air conditioned inside so if you want to just get out of the heat and then get some a nice cool meal I would definitely recommend that place and it is just next to the supermarket so you know where it is on the road now you see the beach down there and I'm going to walk up this way then cross over the road and walk back along to the front try and get in the shade again so I have crossed back over the road and I'm going to walk down the side of the canal just to take a little bit of a shortcut to me heading back along the front. Be aware they are going to build an absolute monstrosity of a, a double set of apartments in this land. Um, I've actually drawn out the square meterage of the apartments already. Um, I think, to be honest, they'll look absolutely horrendous. If I can zoom in, they're going to be completely bigger than anything in Torreveca. I think they're about 24 floors. They'll stick out like a sore thumb. Tell me what you think in the comments of these apartments. Uh, do you think they'll benefit the town or do you think they'll just be more holiday homes? Which um, the town has a lot of and all it does as well is just prices local people out of the property to market in this end of Torrey A lot of people have been asking about um, places to stay, places to buy. We have looked around the area a lot, this area of the Alicante region, um, for our own purposes to decide where we are going to sort of get our forever home, if you like, or our project. We'll have a few things in mind that we're looking at. But, we're not going to be rushed into it and I would suggest that to anyone that's buying a property um, do not buy off the internet without seeing it do not put down, down big deposits without seeing things and getting everything checked uh, our friends Andy and Katie they're going through the process of trying to buy a property just now but they have very specific needs for the type of property that they're looking at and um, one of the things that they did last week they were ready to put down a deposit they were doing the checks on the property and they found out that the property was illegally built so then they then pulled out that deal so a lot of people are asking you know, what area should they buy in which area should they invest in it all comes down to individual needs and wants do you want to live that expat lifestyle with a lot of expats around you do you want to live a more Spanish lifestyle and along with that comes cheaper costs because if you then start going to Spanish bars and you know we, we do find personally that if, if you go to an expat bar British bars or whatever they are a little bit more expensive that goes along for food also you can go to a Spanish bar and it tends to be a bit cheaper do as the Spanish do as they say for instance I'm now at the International Marina and you, a lot of you will know this area well Talking about the way that crazy house prices have went, this first apartment up here was for rent uh, about two years ago. It then went up for sale at a crazy price of over 230 grand. For me, it needs a complete refurbishment. It needs completely refurbished inside. It needs to buy new, it needs new windows. It needs a massive amount of money spent on it. And at 230 grand, I just think it's ridiculous. Um, it's crazy what the prices are going here down at this end of Torreveca. Uh, has it priced us at the market and out this area? Is this the area that we want to stay in? We'll leave that for another video because we are thinking long term and um, what we really want out of Spain and the type of Spain that we want to stay in.